Well, some good news. The 400 is open. Uh, north, of course, reopened earlier on. Southbound around Innisfil Beach Road. That had been closed. Uh, the road's open, but it is slippery. Uh, it has been salted. Snow squall watches and warnings. Okay, i got to give myself a shake here. Did I just say all of that? <laughs> this is winter weather. This is a winter forecast update, a road update for you. The winds are still out of the northwest generally, but they are going to shift more westerly tonight, and that will shut down all of this, bring some snow into Perry Sound and surrounding areas. But we're not quite there yet. The squalls have lifted to the east side of London now. They're back through Kincardine, still to the east of Collingwood, Wasaga Beach, down through Barrie. And the squall forecast, this is another way of looking at it before we check in with Kasha in the field. Blue area showing you precipitation. Notice how it shuts down, and then it should be, you know, okay, we've missed a little bit of blue there. Get back to that. We'll fix up the computer for you. She's working perfectly. Kasha, although you've had to very abruptly get yourself reacquainted with winter, right? Oh, I like it, Kasha. Throw one at Dwayne, the cameraman, while you're at it. Uh, zero in Toronto currently. We've warmed up in the west. The cold Arctic air is pouring in. The winds are well organized. That's why we've got the snow squalls. Northwest release tonight, and that blue shows you how cold it is. And how cold will it be? Minus four again tomorrow morning, like today, but warming daytime highs coming up towards the weekend. That's still great, but in reality, about an hour's drive away. Sunshine, snowfall, sunshine. Snowfall. That's the way snow squalls are. And sometimes it's not an hour away. It can be a couple of minutes away. What a contrast. Snow squall watches and warnings are continuing. We have accumulation still building up around Grand Bend and Goderich and stretching over to Stratford and squalls just around the Barrie area. They're slicing down just south of Barrie over to the east side of Newmarket. Uh, very poor conditions on some of the local roads, particularly heavy around Goderich right now and in towards the north side of London. Kasha, you're around Barrie. What's the latest there? Coming up in just a second, Chrissy will check in with the uh, latest on the commute. If you're just joining us, yeah, Kasha just outside Barrie. And if I pause on the latest radar coming through the city, but uh, just to the north, around Georgian College and Gasoline Alley, there's snow just to the south through Cookstown and over to Alliston. Fairly quiet right now, coming in around Newmarket and Sharon, up towards Keswick, and this broadband that's hitting southwestern Ontario as well. Now, we hope to check in with traffic for you in just a second. Sit tight. We've got forecast accumulations. Uh, and current temperatures and wind chills, Chrissy, it is a wintry evening out there. The squall machine is pumping out snow. It started last night and has turned roads east of Lake Huron and Georgian Bay into an icy, slushy mess. Lake Effect Snow been our big story all day long. And of course, following the Philippines aftermath in Force of Nature. So there, another update is just a few moments away. Uh, taking a look at watches and warnings. I mean, this has been a whiteout today, complete whiteout and accumulations that have got to be closing in on 30 centimeters. I'm going out on a limb here, but 15 plus 15 makes 30. And we already had 15 on the ground around Allison this morning. You're in a bit of a break now up towards Barry as well, but still streamers coming in off Georgian Bay and just clobbering the Lake Huron shoreline around Bayfield Inlet and around Goderich, no, not Bayfield Inlet, pardon me, around Goderich as well. That's an area that could see another 15 plus. And the temperature is certainly cold enough to keep that snow with us for now. Warming up in the West, Kasha, I'll have that story in a moment. West Vancouver. 16.8 degrees today, new record. What do you think of that? No. Yeah, no blizzards swirling around you right now. But that is quite right, the nature of snow squalls. And I mentioned Bayfield Inlet. That's by Perry Sound. Snow for you overnight tonight. And Bayfield near Goderich and Grand Bend, they're getting it now. We are going to get a little bit of a warm-up Wednesday up to 5. And by the end of the week, Sunday, we could hit 12 degrees. But still some snow, although tomorrow should be mainly sunny for most of the airwaves today. The 400 at one point was closed in both directions, south of Barrie. Uh, yeah, out in... <laughs> it's starting to get a little cold standing in front of that video. Snow squall warnings and watches continuing. Warning still for Barry Collingwood and also for Grand Band in London. Some of these are going to get dropped in the coming hours because as we get deeper into the evening, the squalls will be switching around to more of a west-east orientation. They're just tilting a little bit more now, coming out of the London area, still up through St. Mary's and Woodstock and Concordia and Southampton, and around the Barry region and up to Wasaga Beach. And we had north now to get the latest from Kasha.
commute. Thanks, Chrissy. And as far as the snow is concerned, winding down through tomorrow morning as those winds go westerly, they'll shut down for the most part around Lake Huron and pick up a little bit around Perry Sound. Current temperatures are between minus one and minus four. It feels a good five degrees colder than that. Tomorrow's still chilly as the blue color here suggests, but we warm up towards normal by Thursday. Local forecast details just ahead. This one. Another look at Force of Nature and your local forecast, of course, coming up in a few minutes. But we continue with snow squalls in Ontario, Georgian Bay and Lake Huron. The worst of it at times around Barrie, certainly Alliston and Collingwood today. 400 had been closed. Grand Bend and Goderich, that's another real problem area. Local forecasts have a radar that you can see. I just want to break it down a touch for you. Winds have shifted a bit more westerly. They're still generally out of the northwest. We've got a wind chill knocking the temperatures down. And we've got some whiteout conditions. Looks like it's picking up again uh, south of Barrie down to Newmarket and certainly around sections of Highway 21 inland towards Stratford. 10 plus centimeters could still fall there through the evening hours. Kasha, it seems unbelievable, but 15 centimeters had fallen in Alliston by this morning. And there's been more all around you today. Yeah, I know. We're, we haven't been ready for it, have we, Kasia? It's been, you know, mild and then a little cooler, mild and a little cooler, but a wind chill of minus 10. So it feels like minus 10. That's a winter temperature. That's a January temperature. So get ready. Reach into the back of the cupboard. Overnight tonight, minus 4 for Toronto. And look at these temperatures. Sure, it's colder up in Whitehorse and Yellowknife, but we've got plenty of modified Arctic air in eastern Canada. We're up to plus 5 tomorrow, 5 with sunshine and warming by the end of the week. But still squalls and whiteouts overnight tonight, much like this. We'll, we'll have more international news for you coming up. A really neat story that just come to my attention, Person Finder. Google has launched a Person Finder so that people in the Philippines can type in, I'm looking for someone or I have information about someone. So there have been thousands of people registered on that already. Hoping that this will, of course, provide some assistance. Search and rescue queues, crews in a desperate race against time there. It's already Wednesday in the Philippines. Still Tuesday evening here, squall watches and warnings. Okay, so you've been looking at this for a moment or two. Let's peel this away. Barry and Grand Bend under warnings. There are whiteout conditions still with these streamers coming off Georgian Bay, Highway 26, Collingwood, Wasaga, Midland, certainly around Goderich as well, and spreading a little north as these winds back a little bit more to the west. As they do so, well, eventually they'll shut down and move into Perry Sound, but that's late overnight tonight. Kasha, you've been out. I know. Is it still free freezing out there for you? Awesome job, Cash. I know uh, Cash has been uh, brave enough to take that short straw and head out today. Uh, if you're in the city of Toronto, it's still pretty green, but in many surrounding areas, it is white. There's a wind chill tonight. It'll feel like the minus double digits. Tomorrow, it will be sunnier. We'll have some snow off Paris, off Georgian Bay in the morning, and then it'll dry up completely. Thursday's looking even warmer. Uh, warming our hearts, perhaps. That's the only way, really, I think, to deal with this situation, the disaster unfolding in the Philippines. If you've got an extra couple of dollars, here are some great causes, organizations to help. Well, thanks for checking us out around the supper hour. Suzanne Leonard and the team with the snow squalls, with the winter wonderland, whiteout conditions today, near Lake Huron, near Georgian Bay. Okay, in the city of Toronto and Mississauga and Hamilton, it's been fairly quiet. It's been cold. But the snow has been coming down steadily. London, Grand Bend, Goderich, and then pushing up towards Southampton and around the Barrie area. Alliston. Alliston woke up to 15 centimeters of snow on the ground. And it's kept coming all day long in these areas. Now, some have had a little bit of a break. These are intermittent streamers. The winds are out of the general northwest. It's turned a little more westerly on the Huron shorelines. Gusts are around 30 kilometers an hour, which means it feels about 5 degrees colder than the thermometer reading on your car dashboard outside your kitchen window. And here's a look at the radar. And it's all snow. I know there's a little bit of green showing up there, but trust me, it's all snow. Cold air aloft, warmer air at the surface, winds that are well aligned, and that's why we've had some whiteouts. The 400 was shut down at one point earlier today. Streamers reaching well inland towards St. Mary's and towards Woodstock. And more accumulations tonight. I mentioned Woodstock. It's near there where we find Mark Robinson. Mark? Thanks very much, Mark. Yep, winding down and then warming up. Later in the week, there's a little good news.